You're watching the American Health Journal presents Discoveries in Alternative Medicine. Now with a report on adult allergies. Here's our Laura Windsor. Not only do children suffer with allergies, they are quite common in adults, sometimes so debilitating a person can't leave the house. In Washington, D.C., we met a woman named Carolyn Murray who had so many allergies she was even allergic to antihistamines. We talked with her doctor, Lisa Lewis, about her condition. One thing that stood out pretty clearly was that she told me she couldn't sit in grass underneath a tree or um, she couldn't, like, picnic or at barbecues and things of that nature. She couldn't participate in outdoor activities at all, which, you know, for someone that has such a lovely personality and it was so vibrant, you could see that that um, really, that really hurt. Um, and, and really diminished her quality of life. That, that is the one thing that stood out, I think, most um, importantly for me, to make sure that um, through her treatment process that I could help her regain that part of her life back. And so what we, what, what we did was we, we did a number of, of, of things. I mean, I took it from a nutritional perspective, um, I, t I tested to see what food sensitivities or foods could be contributing to, to her allergic symptoms. Um, I assessed her adrenal function to determine uh, how, how powerful her adrenal response was, whether it was elevated, um, elevated or, or reduced. Um, I used herbal medicine um, to help to alleviate her immediate response so that she could eventually uh, go outside and enjoy the, you know, enjoy the, the weather. But the, what I did was I focused on some alleviating symptoms at first. So I wanted to make sure that at least she could have that improved quality of life immediately. And then focused on the digestive system, focused on the immune system, focused on the adrenal systems to build those over time so that as time went by, she would have an increase in quality of life as it related to her symptoms. We asked Carolyn Murray how her life has changed since seeing Dr. Lewis. Um, I remember after seeing Lisa for about three weeks, and it was just before, you know, Memorial Day, and I was about sick and tired of staying inside. I mean, my idea of a cookout was cookout, somebody bring it in, and I would eat in and sit and look out the glass doors, you know, while everybody was outside doing stuff because I absolutely couldn't go out there. And um, the Memorial Day came up, and I had to go out there, and I did. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to sit here in this chair under this oak tree, which normally would send me immediately into a sneezing, breaking out in hives, frenzy. And I sat there and her grass was, you know, cut high and so it was all around my feet. And I didn't have any itching and I didn't have any wheezing or sneezing and no hives. And, you know, then everybody started coming and said, you're outside, <laughs> you know? So, um, that was it. That was when I realized the very first time that, um, hey, maybe this works. <laughs> maybe I can go outside. And um, I decided I wasn't going to pay the small fortune that you pay to get people to come and cut the shrubberies around your house. And they were growing up to where I was about to get fined for, you know, not having them cut in my community. So um, I borrowed my brother-in-law's hedge cutter. And my son and I went outside and we cut bushes and hedges and raked and pulled and weeded for three hours. And I didn't have one hive, I didn't sneeze one time, I didn't wheeze one time, I didn't do anything. And this is, um, I saw Lisa consistently for about two years, maybe two and a half years, and then I stopped and when I stopped, I was I'm not taking any herbs, I'm not taking anything to counteract a reaction. So when I went out there to do this, I just knew that I was going to be, you know, all itchy and scratchy and mucusy, but none of that happened. And I was out there for about three hours and um, 
my hedges look great. <laughs> I felt great. You know? So I decided next spring I'm going to do it myself.